Finally made it. And the music's all different now. Fucking scary lab. Careful, Scooby. The floor looks dangerous. It's electrified. You gotta move it. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. When I have a fucking... If I ever have a child, I'm gonna fucking shove Scooby-Doo down their throat. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got moving platforms. <gasps> ah! I was hoping I can hit it. Oh no, don't tell me I gotta do it all over again. Come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please, we're at the end. Give me some leeway. here for a while, aren't we? <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. Dude, I feel like even fucking Symphony of the Night wouldn't take this long for me to beat. That's a lie, it'll probably take me longer. Even though it's not a hard game. Can't move my camera whatsoever. So most of the time, it's just a leap of faith. Where the fuck's the other bed? Just gotta play the waiting game. Mm hmm. Oh, there it is. Not even sure if I want to risk it for the goddamn Scooby Snacks. Can I unelectrify the floor? Perhaps. Fuck it, I'll go for it. Dumb move. Stupid move. Shouldn't have done it. And if I was gonna do it, should have fucking got a run and start. Damn it. I just I just hate waiting on platforms, you know? I just wanna go. I just wanna go. I just wanna go. I just wanna go. <laughs> just wanna play the game, damn it. You tell me to actively not play the game. this fucking room. I hate this room so much. <laughs> uh. Play Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Oh, it's a great Scooby-Doo game, they said. Ah. Surely wouldn't want to make you stick a fucking javelin in your goddamn gullet. Now all the platforms are moving. Great.
I can't even see if the bed's there or not. Can't even see if the bed if the bed is there or not. I'm gonna have to take a fucking leap of faith. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, cool. Now, uh... Oh, that's where I go. Okay. Alright. I was confused, not gonna lie. Oh, why the platform's gotta be so fucking tiny? And why the lamp's gotta be in my way? Can't tell if I'm gonna land on the damn thing or not. And the ropes still have fucking collision. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate everything about this. Oh, yep, that's it. Goodbye, Scoop. <sighs> I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Scooby Doo Mask was nothing like this. It was nothing but fun all the way through. Smiles 100% of the time. This game is torture. No, no, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What sick bastard? What fucking madman designed this shit? I hope whoever made this room got fired the next day. We're almost there, Scoob. We're almost there, Scoobert. We're almost there, Scoobert. No! Ah! <laughs> the fuck you laughing at, game? It's not funny. This shit gives me a heart attack. Now it's these, these weird motherfuckers. They're showing up now. I forgot the name of this guy, but this is uh, this was definitely one of the uh, Scooby-Doo villains that actually kind of creeped me out. Because motherfucker just walked so weird. Like, when he ran, he just walked towards you. He was so fast. He was, the, what is he called? Cyborg or some shit? The android? <sighs> oh, look, it's acid. You can handle this, right, Scooby? Oh yeah, don't you want those uh, Scooby snacks? Covered in acid? That's how they're made? Okay. So what, what, what are we doing here? What, what's the point of this? They're both lowered. Um, what, what was the point of this? Save your memory? Of course I'll save my memory. You know, if none of this was being recorded, I would just, like... What the fuck am I supposed to do here?
Um... Uh, pre press button. No press button. Uh, what? I I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I don't know. I turned off the acid. Is that? How, can I turn it back on? So that's it. That's it. Games beat me. That's it. That's it. I can't take it no more. That's it. I'm looking up a guide. Looking up a guide. We're doing it live. Guide time. Let's see. Uh, where the fuck are we? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Uh. Uh, where am I? Little Lab Horrors. That's where we're at. Let's see. But what part of Little Lab Horrors? Part 1, Part 2? What, where the fuck are we? That's Part 1. And this is what? Part 3? Part 2. Part 2. Alright. Run upstairs and jump the laser beams. Hit the red button. Deactivate the lasers. Collect. What the fuck are you talking about? What is this? Jump across the acid pool, hit the red switch, hit the button, and collect 10 snacks from the floor. Exit via the door. Okay. Uh, okay. It said head back here and go somewhere? What? Can I jump on this? Where the fuck did it tell me to go? Collect. Wait, no. Run, run US and enter the door on your RS. What the fuck does that mean? I guess that means run upstairs and enter the door on your right side. Wait, so there's a door up there? Wait, what? There's not a door up there, what the fuck? Is there a door over here? Oh, there's a door over here. Why does it say run upstairs? I couldn't even see that fucking door. They didn't even show it to me. destroy the lasers. Hey, can you shoot the lasers for me, buddy? Ow. Oh no, there's a big ass red button right there. I did it. Okay. Lasers destroyed. Are destroyed, so I guess I'll just go over here. Ow! Did that count? I'm out of here. I'm going up here. You guys are gonna kill me. Oh, a monster token. I definitely don't want it. I need to I need to look up a guide to fucking go through a door. That's how that game defeated me. 
That's how this game defeated me. A lot of buttons. Right. Oh. Okay. So the lasers go off? Yep, they do. All right, cool. Did I hit that? Ah! Oh! So how Scooby got blasted? Jesus. You'll stay over there. Electricity. Okay. Oh, do I gotta fucking turn them all off at once? Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna be difficult. Wait, no, that one's down permanently. Ah! If that one's down permanently, then how come... Did I just miss them? I might have just missed it. Oh, I can kill you. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Okay, they gave me the benefit of doubt on that one. Stop hurting me. Oh, come on. It... What the fuck hit me? I got shot by a laser and then it was insta kill. Oh, you know what? I don't think it was insta kill. I probably had, like, no help. Now that I think about it. All right. So that one's down. That one's down. That one's down. Oh, now the platforms are going upwards. I would like for you to give me food, please. How did he not get hurt by that? You know what? At least, at least, they don't make me do it all over again. You know? So I guess for these guys, I have to knock them down, then fucking stomp them. Don't you leave without me. Oh, there's a door. This door is locked. Fuck you. Come on. There we go. It's unlocked. Yay. Little Lab of Horrors Part 2. I hear more acid. Confusion has ensued. Why did I make it back there? What, what happened? Okay, I had to make it back there, because, okay, I probably unlocked something. 
so confused. Did I hit it? There you go, hit the button. Shortcut, I guess. I don't know. Or do I need to go up there? Maybe I need to go up there. Hold up. Wait, let's wait for the thing to come back. Where's my platform? Damn it! my platform to come back. Come on, where's the platform? What the fuck? This is where I wish I can, like, change the fucking camera angle. Is the platform gonna come back at all? I'm kinda waiting on it, you know? There's a platform here. Press the button, it went up. Never came back down. not, then I've been waiting a while for that platform, so I'm just gonna go. Why is the button so fucking hard to press? Press the fucking button, Scooby. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Do I even hear acid? And you keep coming back. Hit the button, Scooby. Hit the button. Why is it so hard to hit the fucking button, Scooby? Did a button kill your family? I'm just gonna guess that I don't have to hit that button, you know? I'm just gonna guess. Because I'm pretty sure that button's the one that fucking turned off the electricity in here. But why the button is up, I don't understand. I don't know. And I'm gonna have to fucking run on all the way back up here because the platform won't come down for some reason. So now we're back over here. Over here. So what, did I make the platform like stay up here or something? Oh. See a platform over there. So that's where it went. And how many fucking Scooby Snacks? Oh wait, no, it's a warp gate. Okay, cool. Alright, how many fucking right. Scooby Snacks? I'm gonna shoot someone. It might be myself. 
fuck. Really? More ruby snacks. Is there a cheat code? Is there a cheat code? Please let there be a cheat code. <laughs> Alright, well... Time to go get more Scooby Snacks. Let's cut away again! Jesus, fuck. <coughs> okay. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to more... Oh, this piece of shit game that people told me would be fun, but it's not. I hope you all burn in hell to those who recommended this game to me. My dog is now walking up to me. What do you want from me? Get away. Stop. Stop walking under my fucking legs. Go sit. <laughs> Go sit down. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Now's not the time. Scooby's making me angry. All right. We have... 857. Full health? Alright, cool. Oh my god. Why are there... Why are there more Scooby Snacks? Why are there more Scooby Snacks? Hold on, Raggy. Right. There should not be any more Scooby Snacks. No more Scooby Doors. We don't need them. I hate this game. <laughs> I officially hate this game now. Right. Alright. Don't worry, Shaggy. I got it. Now, don't mind me, Shaggy. I just gotta, you know, grab some of those Scooby snacks. That takes care of him, but I didn't bring my water wings. You get rid of that water, pal. Will do. Give you a boost? Then how the fuck am I gonna get out? What am I giving you a boost for? For what? Right. Just to get out? Well, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, boost up. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd you land? Come on, Shaggy. Ready, ready, Wilma, Wally. Hey, Scoob. Scooby, oh, we we'll be glad to see you. Hey, pal. What am I? Chopped liver? <clears throat> Chopped, Chopped liver. <laughs> Careful, Scoob. That vat is filled with acid. Rashid? Come on, Scooby. You can do it. We're almost <laughs> at the end of this. Come on, Scooby. Jump across the acid. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. Here I come. Oh my god, Scooby. Please don't. Really? You got... It. <laughs> you put a little acid between me and my dog. Come on. Jump across the acid. You can do it. What if he fucks it up? Scooby just fucking boils to a crisp right in front of them. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, why'd you go down? <gasps> right. Good job, Scooby. But why would anybody need this much acid anyway? 
uh, to kill things? Acid in those vats is used for etching. It was used to make those funky lenses that were in my glasses. So you had acid on your... So you were doing acid. You were doing drugs. Jinkies! And now I know just what it is. The professor was making super real holograms. Like what on earth is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light, Shaggy. Like the creeper from my glasses. Like wow! So that's where all the monsters have been coming from. Jeepers. They're all holograms. There's no roast? Bullshit. I got electrocuted, set on fire. Now listen up, gang. I've got a plan. Got my fucking skull bashed in. To keep the mastermind distracted for it to work. Me? And that will buy us all the time we need to turn the tables on old fright face. Yeah, and then he'll face the fright. Ready, Scoob? Uh-uh. I'm not going anywhere. Well, would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Fuck you! Uh -huh. I don't want to do it for a Scooby Snack. I want to do nothing for a Scooby Snack. Never. Stop. Okay. You're, well, I'm ready. Your, your brain's the size of a fucking pea, Scooby. Right. What did you do for a Scooby Snack? That's all I've been fucking chasing after this game. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is... What? Impossible. How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? I don't know. Well, your luck ends here. As well as all nine of your lives. I'm a dog. I think that's cat. I'm not a cat. Shut up. Here's the nice groovy song with the spooky ghost. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on. Ow! Bitch. How the fuck I missed that? Oh, are you kidding me? You can't bash them while they're sticked up? Sticked up? Stuck up? I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, ice cream. I need that. Oh, shit. Damn it. Shit, I was trying to get all three of them. Look at all that food. It's delicious. I feel like I'm listening to the fucking song. I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel like the monster mash is about to start up. I gotta say, I do like how the lyrics is the guy fucking taunting me. It's pretty cool.
I mean, faces like that, yeah, it's pretty scary. Oh, now he's down here. I got a plan, Scooby. You just need to distract them and beat them and all his minions. What'd you do for a Scooby snack? Ah, uh, damn it. I'm waiting for the electricity to go down. Because I think that's what I gotta do, right? Because I still gotta press the buttons. Out of the way. I guess I don't have to press the buttons, so do I just kick his ass? Oh no, I don't kick his ass. What do I do? Oh god. Please give me food or something. I kinda need it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm stuck. Damn it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I gotta do it all over again. Oh, come on. I guess I just keep hitting the buttons then. I mean... Oh, what the fuck? Let me see, is there a, uh... I'm trying to see if there's like a fucking... Oh. oh, we did? Okay, we did get him. Did have to push him into electricity, okay, damn. Look gang, there he is! Well, now it's time to get to the bottom of this mystery. Come on, gang. Let's see who the mastermind really is. Wait, Fred. Like, I think I know who this guy really is. It's that spooky groundskeeper, right? It's never the groundskeeper. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blame the spooky groundskeeper. It's always the spooky groundskeeper. <laughs> What do you people have against groundskeepers? <laughs> Some detective. Why don't you just say the butler did it? But no, it's always got to be the doctor himself. The Anytime some ghost scares somebody off a well-kept lawn, it's just got to be the groundskeeper. Like we couldn't just put up a sign that says keep off the grass. All right, man, shut the fuck I'll up. Get out of here. Rubber monster suit. <clears throat> As I was saying, let's see who the mastermind really is. Uh, it's, it's Professor, Professor Alexander, Alexander Graham. Graham. Oh me? <laughs> oh my. Uncle Alexander? I don't believe it. I knew it all the Did time. Did you do it for money, Uncle Al Alexander? Something just doesn't add up. Is there a buried you treasure somewhere? Someone's playing a nasty trick. A trick of the light. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty obvious. Wow. <laughs> that was just another hologram. Holly, what are you doing there? 
Zoinks! But Holly's right! <laughs> Wrong, Shaggy. That Holly was just another hologram. The real Holly has been the mastermind the entire time. Think about the clues. Remember how Holly said she followed all of our kids? That's a very low-res picture. she know enough about our old foes to program holograms of them? And I noticed how she passed through that rail near the secret lab. By setting Did up that ever happen? Herself when the mastermind was around, she'd have the perfect alibi. But what I don't get is how she got the professor here. In a mastermind costume, no less. Well, that's simple. She used my patent pending, dressed for supper, suck you up. I spent so much time in the lab that I built a device that could get me dressed and to the front door in seconds. <laughs> that way I can uh, be on time to pay the pizza delivery man. <laughs> exactly. Groovy. Holly must have used it to get here ahead of us and switch places with her uncle. Who she'd already stopped up there. It was very uncomfortable, let me tell you. Like, and don't forget the most important clue of all. Hologram. Get it? Hologram. <laughs> I kill me. I kill you too, Shaggy. But why, Holly? For money? Why go through all of this? Was it for money? You guys would have caught my uncle. And when he was sent to jail, I'd steal his super hologram invention and claim I came up with it myself. I would have made a fortune, too. Yep, for money. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's for money. Plan. Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it. Why too. didn't you just push them all in the acid? Kids and your pesky dog. Could have just killed them all. Here, Professor, let me help you. Oh, thank you, kids. I don't know how to repay you. Well, all these fiddles are a great start. Hey! Scooby Dooby Doo! <laughs> all right. Well, that's, uh, Scooby Doo and 100, what is it called? Uh, the Night of 100 Frights. Um, yeah. So, this is the part where I would, uh, you know, talk about how much, how, you know, what I think about the game, what I think could be worked on. But I think, I think we talked about that enough already. That's pretty apparent, right? Uh, I find it, I find it, I find it a little weird that this game was target towards kids, right? I mean, of course it's target towards kids, it's Scooby-Doo. But at the same time, like, old games like Castlevania and shit was target towards kids. But we're talking about the PlayStation 2 era, right? Where, like, most kid games were, like, pretty piss poor, e easy as fuck. So, maybe this was target towards young adults or something like that. But, um, it's also THQ, right? THQ had a pretty okay reputation with licensed games. You know? Um, I love how there's a dubstep version of the fucking Scooby theme. In fucking, like, the year 2000. <laughs> when this game came out, is this 2002? And then, uh, Unmasked was 2004, I think, maybe? I don't remember. Um, but yeah. This is definitely a game that I will not be coming back to at all. Uh, I don't completely hate the game. You know? There's some things that I like, right? Like, you know, in the beginning of the game, I really did have a good time. I liked it. You know? Uh, <laughs> the laugh track is, you know, fun. The music's pretty great. The music's pretty great. Especially the boss music. That's nice that they did that. Because Scooby-Doo Scooby has always been about... Well, Archie and, like, Scooby-Doo and all that Hanna-Barbera shit. In that realm of, like, Jonesy and the Pussycats and stuff like that. It's always been, like, about the music. So, you know, even that was carried over to, um... To... Uh, what it's called. Mystery Incorporated. They made, like, every episode, like, transform- transformative with music in some sort of way. You know? Maybe not every episode, but most episodes. Like, there was definitely, like, you know, different music styles. Like, I remember one of the, uh, the episode with, like, the fucking- the artist. They did, like, some real, like, traditional goth type-ass music. So, that was pretty interesting. Um, Wish- 
I wish I saw more of the gang, right? Of, you know, Fred, Daphne, Velma, and all of them. You know, ex except for, like, just the cutscenes. Uh, as for how Scooby controls, eh, he's pretty good, right? He's pretty good, except for the fact that when you stop running, you gotta deal with that, you know? And when you're running, you can't... You can't really, uh... No, you can. You can actually go into a charge. Hmm, that's pretty good. And you can continue it. Okay. Guess I just didn't know that. That's my bad. Um, but whenever Scooby would hit something, you know, he would reel back, leaving him open for, uh, for big punish, big punishment. You know, I just wish there was, uh, I just wish that maybe they used a different type of health system or something like that. And the biggest problem, oh my god, the biggest problem of this game, the fucking Scooby Snacks. I understand you want people to play the game for a long time, you know, stuff like that. But did you really have to make doors fucking like 600, 500, 800, 700 requirements? Because even playing the game normally, right? Playing the game normally, most people wouldn't really fucking... Most people wouldn't really, you know, go out their way to grab the Scooby Snacks because you see them like they're coins from fucking Mario. And you're like, oh, okay. Right? Checkpoint system was pretty iffy at some times, but great in other times. You know, but overall, is it a good Scooby game? Yeah, of course it's a fucking good Scooby game. Do I like it as much as most people do? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't want to ever play this game again, just mainly because of the Scooby Snack thing. That's just too much, too much for me. You know, but um, and it's weird because Scooby-Doo Unmasked was a collect-a-thon, right? That was pretty much a collect-a-thon too, but um, it wasn't this fucking bad, right? <laughs> um, there's the monster gallery over there. Off, uh, off camera, I definitely went in there just to see was there any extra Scooby snacks in there. No, there's not. So that's just, that's just something that they're like, this is something that's like, do you want to pay Scooby snacks for when you already need a fuck ton, right? Like, no. So that's just ignore that. And also, if they were gonna fucking make every do, do shut the I'm fuck up. Do I look like I got all the answers? If I did, do you think I'd be a groundskeeper? Who the fuck asked you? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> fucking um, if they wanted to go the route of like get a million billion kajillion fucking Scooby snacks, then they should have made getting the monster tokens like give you at least a hundred Scooby snacks, so you have a reason to go out your way for them. Right? Because even when I ran inside the fucking, um, inside the, inside the, uh, monster gallery, like, I would expect to see, like, oh, you get the monster tokens, and you maybe get to look at the models of the monster and stuff like that. But no, you don't get to see the models, you just get their tokens, and you see this description of them, and it's like, well, that's kind of lazy. You know, why not just give me a model viewer? Give me something, right? Or, like, or, like, fucking... Give me concept art or something. I don't know, right? Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and fucking rat, you know, go hard on the story of a Scooby Doo game because it's fucking Scooby Doo, right? You know, you'll be happy. You'll be happy enough just to get anything that's like Zombie Island fucking level, right? And Mystery Incorporated is just so goddamn good. But you know, that's it for Scooby Doo: Night of a Hundred Frights. Am I happy that I play this game? Yeah, I'm happy that I play this game. <laughs> I will never come back to this game unless somebody puts a fucking gun to my head. But, you know, who knows what we'll do next on the adventure of Scooby-Doo. He has a lot of games, more games than you may think. A lot of games that were on the PlayStation 2, Wii, hell, even the GBA and fucking computer. So, I have a strong feeling that this is definitely not our last go about it with Scooby-Doo. And, you know, Hopefully, hopefully maybe one day we'll get a new Scooby-Doo game. One that's like really fucking good. But one can keep wishing. I highly doubt that would ever happen. But if it did, if it did, if it did. You know what? Now that I think about it, because fucking THQ, well, not, it's not the same THQ, but THQ now, they're making a new SpongeBob game off of the heels of like uh, the remastered for um, whatchamacallit remaster remake whatever the hell it is for um 
Battle of Bikini Bottom, which I've never played before. So, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll either play the original or play the remake or something like that. But until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you fucking enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on all the parts because the more likes we get, the more people get to see the channel and the more notoriety we get. And that's all I really want to ask for. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what your favorite Scooby-Doo game, tell me what Scooby-Doo game you think I should fucking tackle next. Because, you know what? I love me some goddamn Scooby-Doo. So, you know, until then, once again, thank you guys for watching. Oh, also, before I forget, in the description, link to my Twitch, my Twitter. Uh, I live stream on Twitch, and Twitter, I post things, funnies, from time to time. You know? Things like that. So if you want to see that, you can do that, right? But, uh, yeah, other than that, once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Also, happy, ho happy? Wow. happy Halloween, you know? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.